Hello YouTube, back with another video, I have here a Sig Sauer in the blue box, uh, the born on date for this particular pistol was 2008, so we're kind of going uh, a little blast from the past. Let's take a look. They kind of have the same, you know, warranty, not much difference. Some adverts for different products, oils, whatever. Uh, to hell and back reliability. And of course, the manual. Really in depth. And last but not least is the firearm. This is a P220, single action only, in 45 ACP. Sorry about that, let me get this box out of here. So this is something that I've wanted for quite a while, the P220. And not only um, in, uh, but also in single action only is what I'm trying to say. Uh, single action only, uh, P220. A um, little bit on the rare side, I don't know, maybe. Uh, but definitely something different. You know, cocked and locked, 1911 style. Now these are starting to come out in Legion form. So you don't see these too often anymore. Uh, obviously SIG does not make this pistol anymore. Um, we have a really nice finish though. I think it's still their nitride finish. Um, but we do have a little bit of difference here where we have this frame uh, made in Germany so that is a bit of a difference. Can't really get it to focus. But that is, um, that was, I guess, you know, this was, you know, over 10 years ago. Um, SIG was starting to make these um, here in Exeter, New Hampshire. Uh, so they have the uh, slide here, made here, and then the frame in Germany. So it's a little bit of a hybrid, uh, very interesting pistol. Uh, so I did, it does come with, I don't know if this is original. Now this is an Act Mag made in Italy, uh, eight rounds, and then this also came with it. And then this is actually still sealed. Um, I don't know if that was from the factory or not, uh, but this is an original SIG um, 45 ACP P220 magazine. Um, now I do have some Arms Core mags coming in. Um, and I've heard those are good, um, you know, they're decent, unlike, you know, Pro Mag, which is, is really, um, really not a very good option for aftermarket magazines for the P220. All right, so uh, cocked and locked here. The sights, you know, standard SIG sights. Um, I probably won't change these. They, they're they probably don't work anymore. You can't, I mean, you're not gonna be able to tell here um, since they're so old um, going back so far. Uh, obviously, you know, maybe little blemishes here and there. That's to be expected on a, on a firearm this old. Uh, it does have checkering here. or well, not checkering, but, uh, you know, kind of grip stripes. Um, original grip, it's very smooth. Uh, which is what I don't like. So I do have 
um, the G10 grips uh, that I got um, on Optics Planet for about $85. So um, trying to make this as a Legion killer uh, is possible. Uh, if you want, you could um, get the flat trigger from Grey Guns. Don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Don't know how much I want to dump into this. Um, but we could take a look here. Now you can see this slide is has a different kind of sheen to it. I'm sorry, the barrel. A little bit different, it seems like. And let's go ahead and try out this trigger. So, safety off. Very nice. Not, not, it just really kind of jumps at you. Not a lot of take up at all. In fact, this is the whole action right here. Out, in, out, in. Little, little, uh, what's the word? It's kind of loose in here. Maybe just from age. Um, maybe a new trigger would kind of give some new life to this weapon. But let's check the reset. I mean, that is great. That is what you would come to expect from a weapon of this caliber. Right there. I mean, it's just very soft. And then here's that take up I was talking about. Very small, very minimal. Um, curve triggers, I don't really like them. Um, this isn't too bad. It's not really bothering me but I could see maybe over repeated shootings. So it just depends, you know, there are upgrades, there are ways to make this into a Legion. Like I said, I got the G10 grips that I like, cause these are, these are, are decent, but they, these are very smooth. Like it, it almost, like I'm just sliding across it, you know, like it's, feels like it's lotion on the gun. Uh, let's see, the magazine fits in very nice, very nice deployment. So now the kicker with this is I got it on Gun Broker for a very good deal. Uh, it was about five seventy-five, something like that. So again, uh, wanted a P220 for a long time, uh, going on a couple years. Uh, but the only options I ever looked at were the Legion options, which have a huge upcharge. So for me, going with an older gun uh, made a little bit more sense. Um, you know, just to avoid the Legion upcharge. Let's go ahead and just do a quick disassembly here. I'm kind of exploring this with you guys. As you can see, the rails, you know, I'm going to clean this, get, some, get rid of some of this gunk. Yeah, it definitely needs a good cleaning. It's kind of very dry in here. Uh, we'll get this, you know, get some new oils in here and stuff. Uh, more than likely, it's just been sitting for a while. It doesn't feel like it's been shot recently at all. And here is the frame. The frame uh, looks really nice. I'm sorry, the uh, slide looks really nice. You know, I don't, I don't see any really nicks on the slide itself. Um, I have no reason to believe that it's not original. It just so happens that all the, uh, so nice uh, steel guide rod in here. Well, not steel, but it's some kind of metal. Uh, here's the barrel. Again, these are all, you know, I could easily get a replacement for this, uh, just depending on how much money I want to dump into it. Uh, inside the slide, you could see, yeah, this is just typical wear that you would expect from a weapon this old. Uh, but, you know, there's no way that this is not going to be reliable. So, I'll just put it back together. I'll probably clean this later today.
Yep. I'll get that later. Okay, so I went and got the spring guide rod back in place. Again, easy takedown, just like any SIG. I'm just, I'm wondering, yeah, anyway. Yeah, like I said, just a little few marks, nicks here and there. Um, it feels really great in the hand. Um, there's no way I would get ever get hammered by it. I mean, it's just not even close. Safety is very responsive, very tactile. Um, don't know if I would ever carry this, but uh, it has a very nice slim profile, kind of like a 1911. Uh, I don't have a 1911 here to compare it to, but a lot of comparisons have been made between this and the 1911. The grip, you know, um, just has a lot of features um, that I was looking for. Uh, and like I said, I uh, did not want to go the Legion route, so this kind of uh, saved me a little bit um, on that end. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. April Fools. <laughs>